Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video and I'm currently in Savage Lands and I was doing pretty well in the beginning and got my maximum reward stage 10 pretty early. So I bubbled up, buffed up and ported close to the world monsters. I already tried recording one video but then the recorder broke and so the world monster is already gone, but you can see, still see a lot of different marches. But what I am here for is to talk to you about the formation that I was using. You can see that I have a lot of different amount of points. That's because uh, I walk like 15 to 16 seconds towards the monster. And on the way back, I can send an additional or uh, another march. So I do more hits. Of course, uh, every second hit has less points but I am here to get as many of these emblem fragment chests as possible. So I just kept sending marches and then, then it is always good to have a pretty high mage count for me as an infantry mage player because the formation that I'm using is actually the fine trial or evil tyrant formation that I often talk about in other videos. So let's watch the replay. Here you can see that the world monster just walks towards my army and is hitting my small units. It's wasting a lot of damage because it has to kill all of these 50 unit pools. And while there are like 400k of mages, yeah, close to 400k mages are hitting the monster. And the very interesting thing about the world monsters is that they walk so slow and they have to go all of this distance that the battle just ends at 31 seconds. So the big advantage is that you are not losing any really important damage units. They are all able to attack all the time with their full potential and that gets you a pretty high damage count here against the Savage uh, Lands World Monsters. And by that you can see here that I did seven attacks. Of course, other castles ported close too and we're hitting it and we've, we are facing some very strong opponents so I didn't get that much but that doesn't matter right now. Still, I invested one elite teleport and what I got out of it were seven attacks on the monster. And now when we look into the reports, you can see I got material chests, recruitment speed ups, but the most interesting thing are the emblem fragment chests and I always got five. So I am talking about 35 emblem fragment chests, which is close to one full emblem and that is a pretty good trade in my opinion for an elite teleport and um, all of the other rewards were also pretty nice too. Now um, I also, I, due to me having the time, I will just uh, quickly attack this monster right there. But I did some, some pretty cool hits and we can quickly look into them. So here I had a 300k march against 725k and I was using my tier 12 formation and the opponent had some tier 11 units and some tier 10 units. Quickly going into the replay. Here you can see how well the sacred flame of the angels work. Always flying into the back line. Now a few of my angels are getting hit, but that's the good thing about these non-loss events. So the sacred flame killed round about 150 and now 25 again, 175k of mages. So definitely a good deal. Now one of the most funniest hits that I've seen because I was attacking this guy and I didn't expect this to happen. So I already buffed up a bit, but in the end, uh, yeah, he didn't have that high quality units, a lot of tier one, tier nine and tier 10, but let's watch the replay. Again, Sacred Flame doing a great job there. And last but not least, this was also a very cool one. Tier 10 and Tier 11. 
against my tier 12 units. So nothing really special in here, but still some good fights. And they got me my rewards pretty early. So all in all, I hope that this video helped you out when it comes to the formation against the world monsters and savage lands. I will keep playing this round and I will be waiting for the next wave of world monsters. So all in all, I hope that this video helped you out and I will say see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.